uh, the selling tide. Ashish Kyal of Way Strategy Advisors joins in now. Hi, Ashish. Morning. Uh, what's the trade now on the index and uh, what are the individual uh, stock trades you're looking at? Hi, morning, Sumira, and to all the viewers as well. Uh, see, last time also when we talked, we uh, discussed how 18,000 is a major hurdle and we can clearly see major, majority of the people talking about decoupling. But we are in a global economy. It's not really decoupled. So, and we are seeing the intensity of selling pressure today. Uh, 17,160 was a very important low that was created earlier and that is now decisively breached. So, the overall tone for the index is on the downside. What remains concerning is the dropping crude oil prices. I know that is going to help in the fiscal deficit. But on the other hand, it shows a very sluggish demand, which is not picking up. The economic activity is slowing down. That's a reflection of a falling crude prices, which is now below 80. Look at the dollar index has gone above that 110 levels. Look at USD INR is crossing that 81.50. Our long term target or medium term target was 82 and we are nearing to that levels as well. So all in all, it is not suggesting a very good sign. I think the decline is just started from here on. We might see a pullback. Indicators are oversold, so, but that pullback can be temporary. Use a pullback towards 17,100 or 17,150 as an opportunity to sell the market again, expecting a target on the downside towards that 16,800 or possibly lower. So looking at the index, not a very promising sign. It's a global systematic sell-off we are seeing. As long as we do not cross back above that 17,200, 220 mark, I think sell on rise should be the strategy. Uh, having said that, the first call on the short side is going to be in the commodity space, the commodity stock Hindalco. We can clearly see uh, across the space there is a decline in aluminum uh, prices, in copper prices. So the commodity is also crashing. So given that fact, I think metal stocks can underperform. And one can short Hindalco at the current levels or use pullback to sell it. On the upside, the stop loss has to be maintained at 385, and we are expecting a target somewhere around 346 on the downside. And uh, the next talk on the sell side is from the, uh, uh, we can clearly see the financial services space where we, there is some selling pressure emerging, and uh, LNT Finance has shown a very sharp decline. There is a possibility of pullback. Use that as an opportunity to sell again to ride the bigger medium term downtrend. Uh, maintain a stop loss of around 76 level for the target of 68. Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, joining in. Need to get into